How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm joined by T from T's Jam. Hello! And we're going to be covering Tales of Alwick the First. This is a sponsored video by the Supreme Kai 6. Thank you so much for sponsoring the video, and if you're interested in sponsoring uh, your game in the future, just hit me up in the Discord, and I'll get you the details on that. So yeah, let's jump into this project. Um, first thing I notice is the sound effects looping crazy, crazy fast. It gets really, really old really fast, so we're going to just do something real quick and turn the sound effects off while we talk about this intro. <clears throat> so you might want to get rid of uh, the frequency of the sound effects or something. I don't know how to how you would address this. It's kind of a tough situation because yeah. I do like seeing this. Um, and, oh, you know what you could do? Copy paste your uh, animation and, and uh, add more in your database and then change the, the second one that you pasted to have no sound effects. So you can still show this at the beginning or reduce the volume really uh, by a lot on the sound effects of your copied one. So when you're calling the animations here for your intro scene, you're calling them with a very quiet uh, sound effect. So then that way when you use them in the game, they're actually at the normal volume. Um, one thing I also noticed with the project you deployed for me is the options you had all of these set to zero and it took me a while to figure out why the sound wasn't working. So um, keep in mind when you set your when you make your settings and then you deploy your game, it's going to remember all those settings. So let's go ahead and turn on Sync Monitor FPS, which is a good plugin. I'm glad you've included that one. It's going to uh, stop all the people who are using 144 hertz monitor to run at 2.4 times speed. So thank you for including that. Um, what we're going to do is actually turn on the sound effects, but at 60% volume, and I'll keep the rest at 100. I've used uh, everything else to set up the volume just about right. Lighting effects, I want those on. Command, remember, I'm going to keep that off. Uh, actually, we'll turn it on, but I'm not going to mess with the keyboard config unless you have button, common, event stuff. So, cool. Let's take a look at the credits real quick. So, created, by, uh, created by Supreme Kai 6, and the plugins are these people. Um, the Spanish Guitar Pack. I do like this background music. It's really nice. And here's some extra resources. Special thanks to these people. Cool. Let's jump into your game and take a look at Tales of Alwick the First. Uh, thanks for joining me, T. Glad you're here. It's my pleasure. All right. Uh, scrolling text, not the best intro. Tales of Alwick the First. Year is 347 in the world of Neumba. The world of Neumba, there are seven sacred empires. The Empire of Fire, Earth, Wind, Water, Darkness, Light, and... and Supreme Empire. All the empires protect the sacred crystals, uh, control the flow of that energy on the earth. Some heroes are born into their role, others are forced into heroes and by circumstances, but every hero has a story to tell. Our story begins in Alwick. Today is the day of wedding of Sir Kaz and Knight of the Alwick Empire. So two things right there. Good Three job. things, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, I did it though. You kind did of. It. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So a few things about that. The scrolling text was too fast, and scrolling text is just needs to be done away with. Um, just do. Um, like show a picture like create some pictures uh, and then show a picture for this scene and then just do a wait for input for the player to read one paragraph like you can put all that in like one paragraph um, and, and just show a picture with that and then let the player press enter when they're done reading it that's the best way to get get out of that also avoid the crystals you know what I mean? It's such a, a, a trope. So change it to the spoons, the <laughs> anything else, the forks, the, you <laughs> the know, flying roosters. the flying roosters of, uh, you know, something. It doesn't matter as long as it's not crystals, because that's kind of played out quite a bit. I'm noticing there's no music here. There is no music here. Yeah, it's it's no interesting. Uh, you want music on your opening scene. You're setting your first impression for the game. There was there was music on the title title yeah, screen. Yeah, there was music so, on the title. Uh, that that was good. I like the yeah. Spanish guitar music, but definitely don't skip scenes, especially at the beginning where you're putting down the plot without music because you're you're really cutting out 40, 50 percent of. It just uh, seems empty. It seems a lot more yeah, yeah. a lot more. Uh, Empty. We got a void here. We are gathered here today to celebrate the holy union of matrimony. These sacred vows to be shared with the world are an understanding of not only themselves, but the world around them and the divine spirit. Also, there's some grammar things in here. Uh, but, you know, you really need a writer. Maybe you can employ T to rewrite <laughs> this for you. I don't know. Despite all of our differences, love is something we all share, a universal truth. That's why you both are here today as a symbol of our natural ability to love, one of the true depths of humanity. I'm going to read it verbatim, word for word. I'm going to read it how it's written. Um, so, Safiya, do you take this man to be your unequivocal, lawfully wedded husband, to have for this day forward until death do you part, for better or worse, for worse, richer and poorer, in sickness and in health. And she says, do you want to read her? I do. I do declare. <laughs> Kaz, do you accept this woman as not only your queen, but lawfully wedded wife, to have for this day forward, until death do you part, for better or worse, richer or and poorer, in sickness and in health. 
And then we get this effect, I do. <laughs> I do kind of like that. You snooze, you lose. Yeah. Sophia! Silly human, your weapons cannot harm me. You want to take a trip too? I'll show you something real nice. Bye bye. I like the little swinging sound effects. Yep. Sim, cool. sim, yeah. Sim, sim, sim. Yeah, nice touch. The Alwick Empire has been thwarted. Your precious kingdom will never be the same. Ha 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 ha. And people run away. <laughs> they ran away. Oh! <laughs> All in uniform. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, stagger that a little bit. So right, like have some of them run away yeah. and then, then like wait a second, the rest run away. And that was uh, humorous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? I'm definitely not an Alwick anymore. Okay, so we've got... Um, I like the lighting. Immediately I noticed that there was some attention done to the lighting, so that big plus for that. A uh, thing I don't like is how you've just cut off this, w there's no walls. I don't yeah. like that at all, but the lighting really helps this not feel super default, so um, change. I would shrink this room a little bit and add some walls. Unless you're going for a particular art style, then, you know, whatever. Everything I say is, an, is my opinion. If you like how you've done something, keep it that way. I'm just giving you ideas. Same thing, T is mm -hmm. going to interject some ideas she has yeah. to make the project better. Also, leave in the comments below if you're watching and you want to give the dev an idea on how to improve this game. Please put that in the comments below. Thank you. A strange amulet. So we've got some interactable uh, thing. Well, and interactable. Oh, we got multiple. This suit of armor would probably fit you, but it's not yours. Rest in the bed? Uh, not yet. Let's check out this. A note attached. When the time is right, you'll know what to do. Okay. Bunch of notes, but nothing important. A few blank writing scrolls. A book open to a page about breaking magical seals. And then here we have a scrolling text um, for this right here. Hmm. Harvest season 27 cycle. I've made absolutely no progress in figuring out what's going on in the Faron cave. I have troops stationed in the area, but I need to return to the castle to get some more uh, troops while I'm gone to save pack travels. Okay, so yeah, there's no, some no. some extra thing right there. Yeah. The scrolling text doesn't need to be scrolling. Yeah. It, it, it could just be wait for input. I, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of scrolling text. Yeah, scrolling thing. text is just yeah. not a good idea, generally. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we rest in the bed. I like the music. And maybe and, maybe keep the uh, the the transition the same length as the music, mm -hmm. or or at least a little longer. It just went bloop. Right, right. That like was, the transition. Kind of yeah. Keep them fade to black for just a yeah. second longer, and maybe speed up the the music. But I like the music, so yeah. this is good. Yeah, do a little fade out while the music starts, and then the fade in. You can gradually do something like that. Yeah. Wow, he's got a lot of hit points. He's got a thousand HP. Um. Okay, we got white magic special and skills. Um, items, unique items. We start with a pocket watch, and it tells us the time. Okay. So there's a time system? Yeah, some time system in here. We looked at the options. Status, default status stuff. Um, I see that we have changed, uh, that the icon set has been changed, which I'm glad. Yeah. And we've got the, the default stuff, but we've added an enchantment, so some attention has been paid to that. Can we save it anywhere? We have three save files, and we can't save anywhere. This looks like Yanfly save core. Okay, the world map. Music's coming in. Yep. There comes the music. Yeah. Good, good. What is this place? A uh, Verulian Forest. Sorry, we're conducting a field experiment at the moment. We'll be gone in just a short while. Sorry, okay, so they say the same thing, and uh, there's still some grammar there that you should look at. Good morning, sir. Your armor looks exceptional today. We still have troops in the cave. Please do your own investigations at your will, sir. Why is he calling me sir? Where am I? Okay, it's supposed to be confusing. Press B to open your right, so it's like the the main character doesn't know what's going on really. The clips are kinda funky. Right, right. I was I think we said that in the first time we looked yeah, at it. This is the second time yeah. playing it. Last week we tried to do this game, but there was missing files, so we, we waited. But we got to this point, we're about to see if the missing files thing got fixed. Yeah. But what I said in the last one and, and we talked about is the the hills look a little bit funny right here because uh, of this little jagged spike in between right here. So I don't know how you'd address this. Maybe uh, use draw some top top parts for it or yeah, something. Yeah, middle sections of the hills. It looks like there's a whole bunch of bottom sections, and there's no, you know, it doesn't. It just ends in the middle of a, an abyss. I don't right, know. Right, right. It's, it's like it, it's it a depth weird. perception yeah. thing. There's some some depth perception. It's just kind of like a little funky. Not a big deal, but um, people will probably notice that a little bit. Yeah. Um, let's see if we can get the battle system. I do like how you're using the Yanfly's event mini label right here. It's also based on how far you are from him. So that's a nice touch. I really mm -hmm. like that little text above the guard's head. So let's go ahead and 
see what this guy says. Good morning, Sir Kaz. I'm sure you're aware of the basic controls by now. Would you like a battle simulation, sir? Yes, let's see what the battle system is all about. Sir, you are so strong already, but practice indeed makes perfect. Okay. Door side view battle system. Now it actually doesn't crash. That's yeah, it cool. didn't crash this time. Okay, sir, this is a battle tutorial. As you'll see, your ability columns are still blank. That's okay. You'll learn new abilities as you level up. There are plenty of magic attacks, skills, and special abilities your parties will learn. Your party will learn as you get stronger. Okay, so we don't have any white magic, any special skills. You might want to start us with uh, at least one thing besides our basic attack. Just just start the player with one thing. It looks kind of like he's got um, the animation for the character and some type of breathing animation going on. Yan flies and it, animated SV. Yeah, has... it makes the, his pants do some weird stuff in the middle there. So maybe just make it a static image if you're going to use the breathing animation. You see that? It looks. I do, really but funny. I actually yeah. kind of like it. You like it? Yes, I think yeah. it looks interesting. This is his arm. Oh yeah, it's his arms doing it. Okay. You can tell it's uh, Yan flies animated SV enemies plugin yeah. that's yeah. doing the breathing thing. But I kind of like it. So, you know, it's perspective, you know. <laughs> attack is the basic attack function. Escape allows you to escape the battle. Guard increases your defense and recovers a small amount of HP and HP. Okay, so guarding will uh, give us some of our stats back. Hit me with your best attack, sir. All right. Looks like we're using, uh, it might be a, a SRD plugin that changes the uh, text. Yeah, that's cool. I like that font. Uh-huh. The only downside with that plugin, as far as the last time I checked it, is if you do any um, Yanfly buff, um, what is it called? The the plugin. Um, uh, I'll tell I'll tell you in a minute. The next thing we'll cover in MP is is magic points. These are used for all the magic points and and some skills. Uh, recover this by guarding or with mana potions. Um, buffs Yanfly's buff pl uh, plugin. Gosh, can I words today? <laughs> if you try to call um, you try to call code buffs. What is the name of the plugin? Do you know what I'm talking no. about? I'm sorry. It's, no it's one of Yanfly's greatest plugins. You should try guarding. Buff State's core. Or... You should try guarding to see how much he recovers. I'm curious. Okay. The last thing we'll cover is tech points. These are earned after most attacks and are used to trigger some skills and all special attacks. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, whoa. sorry, sir. If an ally falls to HP, you'll need a revival scroll to bring them back. There are other potions and items that have a variety of, of effects in battle as well. If all of your allies' HP reach zero, then it's game over. Be sure to keep your HP and MP up in between the battles. That's all there is to battles. Let's finish this one strong, sir. But, ooh, excuse me. Now Kaz learned Crystal Slash. Okay. So... Guard to see what we've got. You wanted yeah, to try that? Yeah, Let's see, see what happens. It says that you recover some. Okay, three hundred and twenty. Wow. So it seems like we we gained about thirty percent. More than twenty-five percent of the MP. Yeah, thir about thirty percent HP and MP yeah. for guarding, which is very very generous. Yeah. Crystal slash. Yeah, I thought it might be more like buff states core. I think it's what it's called. <laughs> Bang! I like the use you of action sequencing. Yeah, that's nice. We learned dual attack. We went straight to level 6. We got a C potion, mana potion, and an attack potion. I like the different icons on the potions. Mm -hmm. Like, we get different... Yeah. It looks really neat. Well done, sir. So that was definitely worth fighting. Because we got crystal slash and dual attack. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's optional. Like, something you can miss if you don't do it. Maybe. He did give you the choice. Yeah. So let's go ahead and save it. The music's great. Good morning, Sir Kaz. Make sure you're aware of the time. Some places can only be accessed at certain times of day. Ah, that's why we have the pocket watch at mm -hmm. the beginning. You want to read the chicken? The chicken is pecking away at seeds on the ground. <laughs> yeah, you can read the horse, too. Moo. <laughs> that's what he said. The horse is eating. The horse is staring blankly at you. Love that guitar music. Good to see you again, Sir Kaz. Most shops and stores close at night, but some pubs and unusual places are only open at night. Okay, so we're getting lots of hints on use the pocket watch, because we're going to yeah. have some sort of time system going on. The guard captain. Sir Kaz, the cave is just ahead. Be ready to, for fights to come, sir. The wise warrior always stays stocked up on potions. Received a sea potion. Ah, I like getting um, items from talking to people. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy X was excellent at that. Um, I really like that. 
Good to see you again, Sir Kaz. A white soldier once said, stay stocked up on items. Shopping is not always a luxury. Uh, okay. So we got lots of banter between the soldiers. Whoa, this one's like a frozen? That's kind of weird. It's a frozen tent in the it's middle of the desert. It's a frozen <laughs> tent in the middle of the desert. Why not? Uh, who needs logic? Maybe it's some sort of spell. Maybe. Revival herbs and other status items are just as important as the potions. Why are the people walking around like chickens? Good morning, Sir Cash. Remember, most shops close at night, and some events are only available at night. Being a night prowler wouldn't hurt. Do you see how that guard is walking around? Look at him. Bah! Bah! <laughs> bah! Many NPCs have some useful information for you, or comedic scenes. Be sure to talk of everyone. So, you mean talk to everyone. Also, I noticed, like, the corner rocks, they look kind of jagged. Like, you know, do you see what I'm talking about here? Yeah. I see what you're trying to do here, and I do kind of appreciate that, but... On the same, at the same time, some of it looks funny when you have like the the spiked edges. Yeah. There is a cobblestone tile. If you're looking for that kind of effect, mm. it looks like it's supposed to be sort of like broken cobblestone. So he's trying to make the map look more varied and everything. Yeah. Which I'm okay with that. And usually I would say get away from the big square box maps, but you know what usually happens if you think about. Uh, people setting up a perimeter, they kind of do yeah. make it like a big a square, big like at a fort. Yeah. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't make a big deal for the big box on this particular map, but it's going to become a big problem if you, all your houses are big box houses. And definitely, um, the the map, the way you're drawing your mountains is very funny looking. Mm -hmm. uh, some more attention to the map. Keep working on it. This is a very early project, by the way, guys. Also, you can make this animate very easily by setting this event right here. Uh, instead of just drawing it on the map, you can set this as an event and set it to a, a parallel process. Everyone's like, oh my god, don't use a parallel process, it's gonna eat all your resources. A, a couple of parallel processes are not gonna destroy your computer, guys. Another, it, sorry. Another option is you can use doodads and they have this flame as an animated flame in there. <laughs> If you're, if you're willing to use doodads. Right, if you're using doodads plugin, you could really resize all of these rocks to different ra Doodads are the way to decorate maps. It just takes yeah. a little bit uh, of extra work. And you can't really see it in the engine. You have to load it into the game to see your changes, which is a yeah. big frustration for a lot of players. That's not the pro problem with the plugin, that's the problem with the engine itself. Uh, mini mana potion was found, and we got a sea potion. I'm gonna look at what the sea potion does, because we found a few of them already. Go ahead. <clears throat> These are the last of our rations, sir. Take them to the journey into the cave. Okay. That was my guy voice. That's Got him. Uh, another frozen tent there too. Yeah, there was another. There was two in the first map. Okay, so let's see if we can save it before we go into the cave. And uh, let's make our way. Also, let's check out what those sea potions do. I like the guitar music, by the way. Yeah, I absolutely really nice. do love it. It's great. Increases the attack stat by ten. Is that a permanent? That was a permanent bonus. Wow. Nice. Very, very powerful item. Okay, so the sea potions are healing potions. What's this guy say? <laughs> we have the place ready for you, sir. They walk around like, like chickens. <laughs> 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 so you can definitely make them walk around more naturally uh -huh. by, by changing the speed and frequency with which they walk. Mm -hmm. It's in the event. Obviously, options. I can see... The, what uh, Supreme Kai is probably trying to do is make variants between making them walk at different speeds. Yeah. But um, you got to kind of look at them and see who really walks like that. Yeah. So uh, adjust the speed and frequency and find the sweet spot and then use like two or three combinations to get that yeah. uh, a good variance in there. Okay. So this guy looks different. He's the captain. Sir Kaz, we have the place ready for you to explore. This mysterious fire is the only thing we've found so far. I'm sure you can find something useful, sir. Because this is the the stone that we found. We're ready. To, we are ready to proceed. If you are, yes. <clears throat> Please proceed, then, sir. Okay. I thought it was auto run. The fire burned slowly. The fire died out. Something shiny is in the base. Received a water stone. Also, this appeared. Fire is responding to your stone. Oh, cool. And it teleported us into some random looking dungeon. Nice, okay. And we'll take this. 500 sekis. Sek sekis? Sequa? 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 Alright, so here we are. Um, 
I like the battle music. Uh huh. It's very tango, isn't it? <laughs> du, 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 du. Makes me want to dance. <laughs> you should get up and dance. Maybe not. <laughs> That'd be great. Every time we get into a battle, T gets up and just starts doing a tango. <laughs> Takes nobody, two to tango. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody. Oh, they want to see it. <laughs> they, guys, type T needs to tango <laughs> if you want to see that. It takes two to tango, though. Mini mana potion was found. Mini mana! 100 sekis. Saka. Saka. Sikwi. Da 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 does dual attack, I'm wondering, will that hit both? You're gonna get one hit killed if they do. Bang, bang! Oh, good. Aha! Nice. Yes! That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and use one of those C potions. You know, yes. I wonder if you guard and in your turn you get attacked three times, do you get healed three times? Uh, I don't think so. I think you, you guard and you get a set amount, but we'll try it. A ring was found. Let's put a ring on. Um, change the the items like what that hat, the cloth, the ring. Did it say what it was? It's a default item that comes with the game. Right, but it like, doesn't have a description. Yeah. Doesn't seem to do anything. What does the ring do? Right. So the hat and the cloth. Um, does it change your stats? When you create a new project, you definitely want to remove all of the default stuff that you're not going to use. Like especially like maybe not the animations and the tile sets, but you know what I'm saying. Like get rid of all the weapons, all the items, all the armors, and and populate that list with your own things. Poison Sting. Uh oh. I like how we're using different animations. Yeah, the They're animations They're getting different really cool. um, abilities. That really is something a lot of people overlook. The battle animations in this game are really cool so far. I'm, I'm gonna try what you said with the guard. See how we, okay, we got so one heal but we're still getting attacked. Right, right. I see how it works now. For some reason, I thought when you got hit, you would heal. Let's try to get rid of him in dual attack. Well, blam. I wonder if the poison effect runs out when you leave. Let's battle. find out. We leveled up to seven. We can also see if we get healed by level. No, we're still poisoned. Um, so that could be a problem. Yeah. Let's see how much it takes us down. Doesn't appear to be a number of rounds that I can see. I'm sure that it will wear. Well, I'm not sure. I hope it wears off. I'm gonna save it on file two. Because poison could basically end your game. Yeah, you're gonna die in like also, a there's few no, steps. Also, there's no point in giving us a shield if we start with a shield. So, change that treasure chest to like an antidote. Yeah, an antidote. An antidote would That's be great. That's what I was thinking was in there. Perfect item to give right there. Yeah, you're gonna, you're we're, gonna we're die. We're gonna take a lot of damage from. Okay, poison does wear off over a decent amount of time. It's not. It doesn't last forever. Okay. It does really. Pin it, it does really uh, put some extra pressure on the player to get just to when they're poisoned. So you definitely want to not get poisoned, or or uh, if you were given the choice, you probably wouldn't choose to fight enemies that would poison you. Mm -hmm. You could actually reward the enemies that poison with better rewards, like more experience or more um, seki. Or even have them drop <laughs> antidotes. I wish we knew how to say yeah. the Sequa. Sequa, Saki. Saki. C notes. Okay, let's try the crystal slash. Bang! You can change the animation on that from center to target. Or yeah. you know, top, middle, or bottom or something. So it that it goes to where you're hitting, middle. not just the middle of the screen. Hat was found. Hat. Very generic name. Yeah, so Very there's generic. default built-in stuff. And like I said, there's no point in giving us these items if we don't have another party member and we start with them anyway. So yeah. we're getting useless items, which is never fun. The maps feel very boxy. Cut cut off some corners a little bit, so that you have. Uh, I I, I'm, I do like how they're nice and wide spaces. You, you know, it's not like one by one, and you have to go through. I hate mazes that are super uh, claustrophobic. So it wasn't a bad map because it was kind of small, but it's it's still not a good map because 
several reasons, mainly the, the square size of it and uh, sort of like the auto-randomly generated nature of it that you can see. But the, at least the enemies have skills and abilities, which is a yeah. good is a good thing. I uh, hate that it would target the same one. 33% yeah. chance that it does that. We might die. I think we're dead. Yeah, I think we're dead. We died. So that's game over, right? Okay, well... Let's let's resume. Let's just load from where we were at. And we're not too far. Still poisoned. At this Still point. poisoned, yep. We didn't get much done on this this map. I'll try to save after. Hold up. Really need to stay uh, on your healing. I would kind of get rid of poison persisting. Yeah. Nobody likes that. It's doing like a total of over a thousand damage over time. That right. Seems a little excessive. Mm -hmm. Maybe bring the, the walking damage down a little bit. Well, it's the way that it's made in the engine. It's usually a percentage. Yeah. You know, I doubt he coded it because if he did, then uh, his text pop-ups wouldn't work because of plugins. And we keep saving it. There's so. a treasure chest down there. Yeah, but it's an yeah, item we don't need. Yeah, it's it's true. garbage. It's true. Same with that one. Revival scroll. I don't see how that's going to help until we yeah. get another party member. You need more than one person for that. Yeah. So there's several additions that you could uh, make this game better. It's very bare bones at this point. Yeah, the maps don't need to be. Here we get a bronze helmet. Now that's an upgrade. 20 magic defense! Nice! Okay. Huge defense. Uh, huge you, magic defense bonus. You can avoid doing the boxy maps by making it more like a, a length rather than up, down. <laughs> kind of like a snake. Right. Also, another good way to do random dungeons is to have it a very long way, long way across mm -hmm. and then do a parallax background. Or, or you know... Yeah. So that you, as you're walking across, the background is sort of changing. Some people do that in caves too, and they'll show um, like waterfall in the background. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of really, really nice cave um, maps with uh, with parallax background, and it's mostly just generated by hand. But then you just have a parallax background, so you have a bridge across. Looks like you're walking across. Uh, like it adds another layer of, of depth to it. Yeah. We almost died there. <laughs> You got level up. You have to use guard. Yes, I do. Probably running out of sea potions. Right. If I do get uh, dangerously low, I will. Oh wait, did we get a second party member? A mage. She appears to be sleeping. Damn serpent! Oh, greet her. Damn serpent stone. Received a blue stone. Oh, you don't get well, the girl. Well, she's uh, talk. She's uh, sleeping, but she had her eyes open and she's talking. So, a stone infused with the power of water, holding it makes your hands wet. Hmm. Diggity. All right. 500. I hope we do find a store because we got plenty of coins. We got Glimmer. I don't know when we got that. It must be level 8. Just leveled up. Another thing you could consider doing is making TP persist so that you don't always have to basic attack at the beginning of combat. Yeah. Let's try Glimmer. What does that do? Does that heal? Nice! It's good that- oh, and it also applies a shield. You see the purple? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Yanfly's Absorption Barrier plugin. You guys want to add that. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. Ah. <laughs> We're gonna see if uh, Glimmer, the Absorption Barrier plugin, because you can set it to have different settings, and it may persist through combat, but it also has the option to not do that. Okay, and it doesn't, right? It doesn't stay, because you could stack up a ton of shield and just kind of become invulnerable. <laughs> Glad you, got, you actually found that uh, and washed it. A bronze rapier. Let's uh, see if we can upgrade our attack by 10 and our agility by 5. Nice. It's a, a, a solid upgrade. I'm going to save for that one. We're level 9 now.
Even with our level and our agility, we're still getting outspeeded. We're still not going first. I do like the pace of the battling. Pretty it's fast paced. Mm -hmm. And the music's good too. A good choice. Well, I don't know, we need to get rid of some of these guys. That should get him. Just an attack. Yeah. So more or less, it kind of feels like uh, like more of the same. You know, we're going through another uh, level with some treasure chests scattered around. We don't have much story progression or anything. Yeah. There's yeah. really no story. It's yeah. Well, there's a little bit of story at the beginning. Big, a big mystery. The beginning had some story. Yeah. But well, a lot of it was scrolling text, too, which is not very yeah. great. I think that um, the battle system is not terribly imbalanced. I mean, you can die. You can keep yourself alive. You do get lots of items. Um, this, the fact that enemies use skills is great, you know, they're not all just doing attack, 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 so the combat system is not terrible. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of over random encounters, but finally, I was saying it was about to get old, but you did switch it up right here, and also there was no lighting uh, in some of those other randomly generated maps, but here you have lighting, you know, so that was missing from the randomly generated maps. 5,000, wow. wow. Quite the upgrade. In, uh, treasure chest findings. So what I'm I, wondering is why we're going through this dungeon. Like, what are we going to meet at the end? There's no, there's no kind of expectation or, or goal. Right. The player, you feel like we need an incentive. Yeah. Or, or at least a, a, a task, a mission, a quest. A motive. What's the player's right. motive? That's yeah, basically. he's just playing along with these people calling him General Kaz or whatever, and he doesn't even know where he is, he doesn't know why they're calling him Sir, and he's just doing this, you know, without any type of explanation right. whatsoever. And nobody knows what's at the end of the cave. Right. So there's no motive uh, for the player at this point. It's just sort of like, uh, stumble through. Yeah. The mapping on this one was, was alright, I liked it. Um, Traded a water stone for a blue stone. And a blue stone. Oh, and a blue stone for a serpent stone. Okay. Can I run? Okay, we got away. Yay. The stone on the wall resonates calmly. Whoa, she just appeared. It's coming. I hope you're ready. Oh, you yeah. You can read her. <laughs> we gotta be on the ball. They beat me last time, but now we should be able to beat them. Oh, no you don't! Not this time! Here we go! Alright, so we got a mage in the party now. And, uh... We learned a spell. A basic light attack has a slight chance to cause confusion. That would be great. Okay, we've got some, some magic and summoning. Oh, I hope she gets some summon magic. That'd be cool. Let's try to do uh, a fire on the blue dragon. Okay, I'm going to attack and get some TP. Let's try water on the gargoyle. Okay, they wow. died pretty easy. Yeah, I didn't expect them to go that fast. That's going to let me do Glimmer on Marana, and we'll try Wind on the Blue Dragon. Oh! One thing I noticed is the shield... Oh, excuse me. The shield goes on Kaz no matter who he restores life to. Wow. So Only usable on him. We'll do Light, and does she have... Uh, maybe she'll take one more hit. Let's do Bolt. But always, there's a chance of confusion. Make him hit himself. 
There we go. Nice. Marana's only level 7 when you get her, so she leveled up quick. 1,500 coins and some stuff. Hey, you were pretty good out there. Now that I got what I came for, let's get out of this dusty cave. Yes. Sir Kaz, I had heard that you had vanished from this cave, but er, uh, well, it's good to see you again, sir. Who is this woman? My name is Marana. I got stuck in that cave not too long before you guys showed up. Am I in the right place? Did you hit your head during that battle? Maybe that magic threw you off a bit. You look like an empire or a faction of some sort. He's calling you sir for a reason. You must be of a royal li lineage. I'm from a kingdom that appears to be far away from here. The Supreme Empire of Alwick. That's right. Maybe I did. Who said that, though? Uh, yeah, who did there was, say you're that? You're missing a face there. That's right. Maybe I did hit my head. I don't know. I remember being at the castle, and things got really bad. Then I was here. Who's talking here? Yeah. That's unusual. Alwick would never be attacked. Maybe you had a bad dream that you can't shake off. You can do uh, backslash in, and then in brackets put the name of whoever you want to be talking uh, with Yanfly's uh, message core, and it'll bring up a little bubble if you watch my mouse right here, or it could be in the middle or on the other side, mm -hmm. and it'll show the name of who's talking. You could also throw a face graphic. We should get back to the castle. Are you traveling alone? I don't usually travel in packs, but how rude of me. How rude of me would it be? How rude would it be of me to refuse your company? Before we go, can we stop by Verulian? Verulian? Verulian. Verulian. Okay, Verulian Village, just a little out of the way. I'm reading it verbatim, so you know what I mean? Like, don't try to correct it. You'll be okay. here all night. Okay. Well, I just hate to leave a young woman alone. You're not a thief, are you? You stole my stone to activate the statue, did you not? Maybe I should be asking you the same thing. Touché. Sir Cass, I'd hate to interrupt you, but a letter also came down this way for you some time ago. I've assumed that this is the captain talking the whole time. We're right next to the yeah, captain. It, it makes sense. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. yeah. Receive the king's letter, but you should still show a face graphic or uh, the name for the captain here. Kaz, when you are finished, so we're reading the letter right here. Mm -hmm. Kaz, when you are finished or finding the stone, come back to the castle immediately. We have no business to attend to. Nijus Kahami. <laughs> you see the lighting change? Aw, new cool. orders. Isn't that cute? Nijus Kijani? That couldn't be. That can't be right. He was the second king of Alwick, and that was over 300 years ago. 300 years? Sir, we are in the 27th year after the re regaining of glory. Nijus Kajani joined the throne. In the year 24, after the passing of the great Negus Riza, Negus Kijani passed in the 81st year cycle. 81 years? Sir, we're only 27 years into the new cycle. 27 years? That can't be. The 305th... Oh, man, this is just too much numbers blabbering right here. Short, truncate this, I'm telling you. That can't be. The 350th anniversary of Alwick is upon us. According to the calendar, we're nearing the end of the 347th cycle. Sir, I... I'm sorry, let's just get back to the castle. Something's not right, but we need to return to Alwick. This letter. There's a message on the back in red. Rin il de Vild. I don't know what that means. We can figure that out. Oh, sorry. We can figure that out later. You heard the king. Let's get back to the castle on the fly. Alwick is the holy city. I haven't seen it. M I haven't seen that many pictures of it, let alone try to get there myself. I'm not quite sure how to get back myself. I've only been away from the castle on special business. Sir, you have to go through Aladura. Maybe it is best if you rest before returning. Virilian is just south from here. You can get some rest and we'll try to figure this all out. Round up the troops. I'll be traveling with this woman and then making way back to Alwick. Yes, sir! You must think I'm insane. So we just got Mariana. We got the mage. Fire burns in the basin. I'll run up the troops and we'll start making our way back to the castle. You can go on ahead. Okay. There's a lot of uh, unnecessarily unnecessary dialogue. There. Oh, you're animating it right here. It's not. It's not really animated though. No, it's, it's like it's, a light uh, event. Yeah, it's yeah. a light effect. Cause yeah. now it's nighttime. Yeah. And there was a lot of places. Uh, 
a lot of references to visiting places at nighttime. And now it's going to be different at night. There's the guard here. So I'm not sure exactly how to get back to the castle, but I'm assuming at the beginning of the game, when we walked down and we weren't able to get to that part, that's the next thing we have to go to. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yes. A long sword was found. Okay. Nah. Uh, no, not as good as the one we had. Staff, okay, so useless there. Optimize, she can wear the hat at least. And rings, apparently, accessories are not auto-optimized, so you have to go into the plugin to change that. Just adding a number to one of the parameters, it's that simple. <clears throat> if you want to have them be optimized, that is. So let's go back to where I think we're supposed to be going. Your Kaz, be saving your journey through the forest, and safe travels to you, my lady. Ugh. Have you ever been through the forest lately? It's not the safest place to be. No, but I'm sure we'll be fine. It's also the quickest way to the village. You did ask for this, after all. You're right. I'm worried for nothing. Probably remove the dashing on the world map. Feels very, very like you should go in to the tent and look for the or look at the blue liquid. Okay. When the time is right, you'll know what to do. Okay. Hey, you're remembering that though. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. What does the sign say? North is the Faron Rune, south is Berlin Forest. Okay, so we're supposed to go here. And voila, they're gone. Okay. I'm working to be a great researcher. There's a world of knowledge to discover. We just conducted an excellent field experiment. Berlin Forest is just ahead. Be careful! That place can be a little weird sometimes, mate. Received a revival scroll. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Went on south. Okay, let's save it. I like that right here. Put this on the third one. Third save file. Okay. This is a weird looking forest. Yeah, again, the mapping is just a little odd. So we've been surprised by the enemy. We'll try to confuse them. And it looks like uh, a lot of poisoning is in our future. Mm hmm. Haven't seen an antidote yet. No. Poison is the worst so far. Yeah. Okay, light. I'm just wondering if they have a weakness. So attack and light seems to be about the same amount of damage. I guess the only difference is um, light has a chance to confuse them. I haven't seen it actually work yet. Great, oh, double yeah. poison. Nice. This is setting up to be a nightmare of a forest. Yeah. No stores. People yeah. are talking about stores. No but... place for us to actually get anything. Let's see if our basic attack can kill this thing off, save some MP. Poison sting shouldn't poison every time. Yeah. It should be like a 10% chance or 20% chance to poison you. Mm. Yeah. This is not good. This is awful. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to do light on that and then attack on that. Hopefully we don't die. Your balancing is good without a po the poison in the equation, really. Yeah. But when we add poison to the equation, it gets it gets Wonky. a little too much. Gosh. You can't even take guard. a step outside this battle without Yeah, dying. I should guard, huh? Huh. Should I guard again? I'm going to guard again. Maybe we'll wear off the poison. Maybe. I think that's the best way to go. Because we're healing for more than he can deal. There we go. Let's go ahead and try to... Crystal Slash it out. Even a regular hit. Should I just melee attack it? Fine. But it would have been fine and killed it. You don't keep TP anyway, so we'll yeah. use it. Yep. Leveled up. Okay, let's use our Revival Scroll. And uh, our C potion. I'm just gonna use them all if I have to. Gotta... I feel like the balancing's falling apart. Yeah. At this point. It seems like it is. Mini mana potion. Heal potion. C potion. The map's really weird. Like very, very too basic. Definitely needs some more detail on the map. I'm gonna try to run. Got this pixie. 
we surprised it. Hey, it disappeared. All that's left is this flower. See the flower. Mary's dropping flowers in the forest. I knew this place was weird. What did the flower do? Heal potion. Oh, we got the heal potion, which is uh, can heal the, the poison. Nice. So we do have something like an antidote. A beautiful flower that a fairy dropped. So this is a key item for something. Okay. We'll make our way through this forest. Much better looking. Yes. I like this way yes, better. Yes, definitely better looking. Absolutely. This map is better. You should go better. straight to this one. Yeah. Go straight to this. Just put some chests out front here. It's way better. Okay. Let's, uh... I don't know. Wind hits all enemies. I noticed that. So let's do that. Ooh. Nice. Like that. Okay. Let's do that then. Mm-hmm. Now we're starting to get heal potions, which is great. Which is very great. Um uh, not sure what's going on with this windmill or water mill. Um look at the lighting effect at the doorways. The blue light. I'm gonna yeah. try to run. I'm gonna look at that light. So does that mean we can walk down? I don't think so. No, we probably have to come out of a cave from somewhere. Uh now kind of weird with the death. That was weird. Yeah. Like you should be able to just is that a... I don't know. Yeah. The walls should all be the same height, usually. I mean, if you have cliffs just, like, climbing up into the distance, but... The you walls can... being different heights is a little weird. Trippy. Let's see. If I were pink and magical, where would I be? Ah, oh, this stupid map isn't helping at all. Hey, hey, hey! You all aren't from around here, are you? Ha! I can tell. With those nice clothes, you guys must be from a nice place. I'm from a city far from here, or who are you? Who, me? I'm just your local everyday traveler like yourselves. Hey, before I forget, have you brave adventurers seen a fairy by any chance? Yay, hi, pink and just adorable. I'm sure you did. Look at that flower you're carrying. Hmm, you must have seen one, am I right? We did, why do you want to know? Fairies are quite magical creatures. Surely anyone who comes across one will have a bit of lady luck on their side. Who wouldn't use a little extra luck? Well, the fairy ran off just... Uh, ran off when when I saw it. La, 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 la. So there's that. Sorry, I can't help you. Well, how about I take that flower off your hands? This forest has tons of flowers. I'm sure you won't miss it that much. What do you say? Hey, no way. It's my flower. What? Well, that's unfortunate. Since you were so kind to pick that flower for me, I'll have to take it from you. No hard feelings, right? Oh, and by the way, the name's Atario, and don't you forget it. Hmm. Look at his mouth. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. What's up with his mouth? I don't know, but <laughs> I'm not opposed to it. Okay, let's try to burn this guy. Let's see if you're even worthy of what you have there. Bang. Okay. Try to confuse him. I don't think it's going to do anything. Water attack. Hmm. Seems like a pansy for some. Yeah. You know, I, I kind of figured it would be a little bit tougher. Does he even to need a name? Him. Does he even need a name? Yeah. I mean, why does he even have a name if he's just going to do attack, attack? Like a little wuss boy. Yeah. B potion, agility potion, a capsule. What a weirdo. Let's get going. Wow. And he just dies? We yeah, just I kill him? Yeah, we just kill him. Hmm. What's up with the collision? There's some weird collision going on here. Like, I yeah, can't go... Yeah, strange. I wonder if the lamp's supposed to be in the middle of that light source there. Yeah, and there's something funky off. right there. Check yeah. that out. You know, don't care. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Not interested. You can read her. Well, hello, Miss Gone for three days and didn't tell a soul. Where have you been? Haha, <laughs> funny story about that. So I went to find some rare flowers, but I got stuck in a cave, see, and well... A knight in shining armor just happened to come by and rescue you? Lovely. You always did have a knack for getting in trouble. Why don't you and your friend go and get cleaned up in the village? Okay. I'm, I'm right with that. <laughs> Big boxy house can be fixed. It's a nice looking chicken. Brianna, it's been quite some time. I'm glad to see you're safe. I beat you to it. Yeah. 
walls look kind of funny. Yeah, the mapping is definitely odd. Questionable. It's yep. odd. The mapping needs the most work in the game. Some maps are okay, but most of them are really uh, too boxy and kind of odd proportions. Glad to see you're safe, Marina. Safe travels to your party. I do like how the time uh, affects the lighting. Yeah. And as you go throughout the game, it gets lighter and darker. And and in caves, you have... Uh, it's a, I can't uh, talk to it. It's like yeah, above us. Yeah, but what is up with the way that bird is flying? <laughs> Who cares? I, I would watch. Yeah. I would watch some tutorials on how to uh, do move routes and things like that. Definitely brush up on on the eventing for move routes and, and mapping. Didn't Yanfly just come out with a basic mapping tutorial? Yeah, you can check that out. Check it out. Please don't open that. That has sentimental value to me. Okay, well we won't do that. Um, very dark in this house for some reason. Yeah. I, I usually like the lighting, but that house is kind of weird lighting. The clothes for the day. They have, have to go it. at night, but maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those things. A hunter to rest for the night. Sure. Let's see what that's about. Doom, doom, doom. Is the innkeeper villager? Oh dear, you're a new face. Oh, Marina, that's just you. There's, there's a new face with you. My old eyes haven't failed me yet. My family has run this inn for many years. Thank you for your patronage. No problem. I hear Swindon Mountains are busy this time of year. Ooh, that was in red. Did you notice that? Yeah. The Swindon Mountains are in red. Well, 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 look who's back in town. And you brought a guy home. Isn't this interesting? This is Kaz. He was nice enough to escort me back to the village, since you must know. Hey, I'm not here to judge, but since you're here, I have a nice little proposition for you. You and your night friend here can run a package up to Sweden Mountain Town for me, right? Hey, I'm not here to do your dirty work. I have things to do. Like meeting random knights in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Giving her a hard time. The Swindon Mountains are up north. You'll know where you're getting... You'll know... You'll know you're getting close when the ground goes to desert and rocks. Out east is Arcala, and then Nantis, but you can head there after you help me. Oh, it don't be bashful. Here's the package. Make sure you deliver it to the address. Received package. There's no rush on the package. You should go home before leaving. A good nap can do wonders for the body. Okay. Food girl. Food girl. <laughs> Any food for you? <laughs> food girl. Yeah, food girl. Whoa! These foods are mighty expensive, but they're permanent bonuses. Yes, they are. I so see they that should now. be expensive. That makes sense. Yeah. Marina, didn't you didn't know you were back in town? Well, as you know, this is the fighting circle base. You can take on quests against some of the strongest fighters around, while you and your night friend look the part. I need to see more out of you first. Go get some real battle experience, <laughs> and then we'll talk. These are some of the strongest fighters in the world, after all. I can't just let you go get killed. We'll both know when you're ready. Okay. Marina, you have friends. Ha! Huh, that's a riot. Just kidding, of course. Good to see you back in town. Okay. People are not very nice to Marina. I'm training to be a village guardian. That's what I want to be when I grow up. Okay. Let's make our way out of town. There's we got... a lot of girls in this town. Yeah, lots, lots of feminized. <laughs> I do like that swan, though. That's pretty cool. Yep. Ice sculpture. Village guardian. It's like a poke battle. <laughs> oh, the way he's faced. This is the sacred sanctuary. Please be respectful to the forest spirits. <sighs> okay. What? Uh, okay, we're not supposed to go here yet. So we have a package. We are actually on are on a quest at this point. It kind of like derailed a little bit. I felt like yeah, definitely. we were we were going to a castle. We went to the forest, but now we hit Mar Marana's village, and we're on some other quest line. Um, the mapping needs a little bit of work. A defense potion. What is that? Where the game shines is there's plenty of items. I'll put that on the mage actually. There's plenty of items, um, which is really nice. I like that uh, the icon set too. Many of the elders in the town say there are fairies in the forest, but it's just a rumor. Don't buy into the stones. Okay, that's it. 
I like how when you go up to NPCs, you see the event mini label. It's a nice little touch. Does that person have a headset on? It did look like it. Yeah. Um, not sure. Maybe we have to go up through this way now that we have the package. Running off already? You haven't even been home yet. Don't be rude. At least go show your face in town. I'm sure the pub owner will want to see you too. Um, we sort of did that. Okay, I'm gonna check the pub owner one more time. You know what? Uh, check the balancing on these these fights and uh, after you leave. The beginning, it seems to be about right. Change the way poison works a little bit so that when they do poison sting, it doesn't always poison you. Make it a, lo a lot less of a chance that you get poisoned. Yeah. I'm gonna run. Can't escape. We might just die here. I guess we have to go back to the pub owner and and uh, go to the next part of the quest. But I think actually we should cut the the video right here. It's been about an hour. Mm -hmm. um, not a terrible first show of your project. Um, keep working on it. You know, I've seen a lot worse, but the mapping definitely needs work. Uh, the mappings, all of the maps need work. Um, some of the grammar. Uh, I'm gonna butcher sentences as I'm doing this. Some of the grammar needs work, you know. Yeah. Uh, maybe just get get somebody to proofread it for you. You could do that. Um, not not terrible. Um, really really cool job with the skills on the enemies. I think the enemies have like a, their own variety of skills, which is good. The the one guy you fight who is trying to get the fairy uh, fairy flower, mm -hmm. give him some skills. Make that yeah. stop. Uh, I would say make the the boss fights a little bit harder or add some sort of boss fight type thing you know you've got the spots where there could be boss fights do a different battle music for so some battles and make them a little bit harder but also encourage the player to save it right before yeah, they get to the, the boss battle um, I like that you can save it anywhere you know that's really neat save it anywhere um, I don't know why we're limited to only three save spots it doesn't Seems like an arbitrary Super Nintendo thing to do. The reason why you only had three on or four on Super Nintendo is because they had a limited amount of space on the cartridge. But you, you know, you don't need to do that. Um, yeah, there's lots of suggestions. Um, if if you guys are watching it and you're you have an idea, please let the dev know. Supreme Kai Six, let him know what he can do to improve the project. I'm sure there's lots of feedback that um, the the uh, that I've missed and he's missed, and people will call you and say, "Hey, this is, needs to be addressed," or "I like how you did this," or whatever. So, um, thanks for or for uh, sponsoring this video, Supreme Kai. I hope you. Continue to work on your project and let me know how it goes in the future on discord if you guys like this video Please give it a thumbs up like favorite share subscribe to the channel if you're new here I've got RPG maker tutorials game maker studio 2 tutorials. We're doing some unity stuff coming up in a couple weeks um, Yeah, if you would like me to play your game and do a feedback video like this Just hit me up on discord and I'll let you know how it goes a eh, pretty simple process really and Thank you guys so much for everything you've done me done for me on um, patreon. You guys are awesome. Love you guys um, if you have any questions, you can shoot me a message on Patreon or hit me up on Discord. I'm there every night. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Love you very much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.